Now, the minority in parliament is calling on government to urgently allow for uh, usage of the 200 million uh, 5,000 Sagaleme housing project. Over 600 units have been completed but left unoccupied. Upon assumption of office by the new Patriotic Party administration, the government caused an investigation in the cost of the project. Here's a report which is yet to be made public. A uh, ranking member of the Works and Housing Committee, Manuel Bedra, uh, was been has been interacting with the press uh, on a tour of the facility and says the non-occupancy is untenable. Let's now go live to our parliamentary correspondent, Komala Kluche, uh, who has all the very latest update, Komala. 136 housing units completed so far should be done without further delay. Government should show proof of commitment as to the delivery of the 200,000 housing units earmarked for the regional capitals as contained in the 2019 budget estimate in order to reduce the national housing de deficit. We thank you for coming and thank you for your attention. Mm. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so the minority uh, has been raising issues about the construction of uh, the uh, housing unit here in Saglemid. One must, however, say that the building after uh, or. or the construction after uh, the 2012 agreement or uh, 2012 approval by the Parliament of Ghana, uh, no one has occupied it. At, at least we've gone round the facility to find out that because it has not been occupied for some time, uh, the building parts of the building have started showing signs of cracks and all that. At least if you build and you do not occupy it, that in itself would affect the structure of the building. We have seen a, quite a number of them, but we'll put a question to the ranking member of the Works and Housing Committee of Parliament, Emmanuel Bejra. You have gone round, you have seen the building, it is uh, to a very large extent completed. Uh, uh, some 600 units of the sort. For you, the majority or the government said they were going to investigate uh, the whole deal. What is the state of that investigation now? We are still waiting on the Minister of, uh, for Works and Housing to tell us that uh, they have gone far with the investigation. In fact, the last time we had a meeting with him, he said he was going to produce a document to prove that they've gone far. Our point is that even though you want to investigate, people should be allowed to occupy their space. The place has been completed. Pressmen have been here. You have been here. You've seen it. At least if these houses have been given to the pressmen, it will, it will reduce your, your, your housing deficit at least. And you will also have a place to stay. So we don't want the of this place to be stopped because of of works and house as well as the government to go into a negotiation with a contractor measures OAS constructors uh, constructors Ghana Limited to enable them to come back to site what sort of negotiation are you looking at so far we've been told uh, from the contractors uh, correspondent to the ministry there were issues about tax uh, waivers and tax, uh, tax issues, which has not been dealt with. The contractor has left the site because of those tax waivers and tax issues. We want the ministry to come back and have discussion with the contractor so that they can allow the contractors to come back to site and continue the work. Uh, so far, so much has been paid. Over 188, 81 million has been paid to the contractor. If there are issues that borders on payment, those issues are administrative issue which could be dealt with. The contractor must be on site for them to complete whatever they have. You will go and see a lot of materials that are getting you know, out of hand. They, they are there waiting for the government to, and to, to go into negotiation and agree on a task with us for them to continue the project. We have been to some of the rooms, especially like one of these ones I've gone there. I've seen that because it's not been occupied for some time, uh, cracks have started developing. What is the cost to the nation with this uh, 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 buildings abandoned here? Let me also add that this is not the only housing unit that has been abandoned. We've mentioned that we have some at home, we have some at, in Kofodua, Wa, and Kumasi. They've all been abandoned. The, the cost of re, 
you know, construction, the cost of renovation, cost of putting it back uh, will be enormous to the nation. And therefore, we are appealing. It's going to be expensive after you've completed a house and you've not occupied it, and you want to occupy it at a later stage. You have to do some remedial works. And this remedial work is going to cost us. We cannot quantify it as we, we, we stand now, but I believe that government is going to, you know, uh, uh, also spend money in, in renovating or doing some remedial work. But let me also quick to add that in construction, there is what we call liquidated uh, liability damages or LED or, or what we call retention. Government is supposed to retain part of the money until you hand over the project to government, you are not supposed to do, government is not supposed to spend money. So we expect that you will invoke those clauses, that the contractor will do those remedial works at their own expense before the occupation of the property. All right, many thanks to the ranking member on the minorities, uh, on, on the Works and Housing Committee of Parliament. But Parkwisi, I must say that these are the sides of the building you can see that uh well i mean it looks it looks uh very nice from the outside and also inside they've been f f fitted i mean if you go in there you see the tiling and then the other things one must say however that these buildings are ready for use i can also tell you that after the approval uh, by the parliament of the republic of ghana in 2012 the sum of 200 million dollars for the construction of the project that has gone into it not much has been done in terms of occupying the building Komla Kluche, Much, uh, TV3 Komla News. Kluche. Uh, we appreciate that. Komla Kluche live from Sagleme.